You want to hear a story about the worst 14 hour flight of my life? To add a little context, I got a travel CPAP. I also got a battery pack to go with it. As far as I know, medical devices are allowed onto a plane as an extra carry-on. That's another free carry-on. I'm pretty sure the reason behind this is that you might have a medical need for your medical device. At the front desk, I let them know I have an extra carry-on. It's a medical device. It's cleared. Okay, cool. We check in. We get on the plane. So we're riding Korean Airlines from LAX to Incheon. That is almost a 14 hour flight. Not to mention we're leaving at 11 p.m. We got some sleeping to do. Of course, what do I need in my sleep? My CPAP. First hour into the flight, I get comfortable, they feed us, and then I start getting ready to go to sleep. So I put on my CPAP and I knock out. 30 minutes later, I am being woken up by a flight attendant that is telling me that I cannot use my CPAP device. I'm in a daze. I don't understand what's going on. I thought this was okay. My wife, who was paying attention to all the hullabaloo, gets furious. She is viciously explaining to him, this is his medical device. He stops breathing while he sleeps. Flight attendant consults another flight attendant. And then at one point, they're explaining to me that they don't think this device is approved to be safe in the air. One of them even mentions, this is only a snoring device, right? We don't believe this is approved to be safe for flight. Here we go. I call the flight attendant over one more time and I firmly explain to her, this is my medical device. I stop breathing while I sleep. This helps me to keep breathing while I sleep. We were dealing with maybe three flight attendants at the time, and this was probably the youngest of all those flight attendants. Was moved and concerned about my plea, so she said, since you stopped breathing, I think it would be a good idea if you continue using it. With a sigh of relief, I continue using my CPAP. This whole ordeal lasted about four to five hours of our flight. 30 minutes after the flight attendant permitted me to use my CPAP, I am being woken up again by another flight attendant, the eldest of the three. She tells me, sir, you have already been instructed by our crew members not to use this device. I gave up. I have never felt so inhumanely disregarded. I continued another eight or nine hours of flight, pissed off and in and out of sleep. I was definitely being woken up by my sleep apnea. Then, towards the end of the flight, the eldest flight attendant, on three occasions, asked me, How are you doing? You're okay, right? And each time I answered, No. I'm exhausted. I could hardly sleep. Her question felt so insincere. Almost like she was saying, Hey, you're okay, right? You didn't need your CPAP device. You survived. I did my research immediately after that flight. Well, we already know they allow you an extra carry-on for medical devices. When it comes to personal electronic devices, we're talking about lithium batteries here. I cited this twice on their website. On Korean Airlines, you can carry batteries under 100 watt hours. I have my Air Mini and I have the battery pack to go with it. Both of these are FAA approved. My battery pack, it's 95 watt hours. So here's where I'm so confused. You can take a battery pack onto an airline and charge your cell phone, your iPad. Some of those batteries have the same capacity as my CPAP battery pack. So everything that I've researched pretty much points to the fact that I can carry on an electronic device with battery as long as it's under 100 watt hours. If I can carry it on, what's to stop me from using it? Same manner as me pulling out another battery pack to charge my cell phone. In this case, I'm using it for something a lot more important to treat my sleep apnea while I sleep. It's a medical device. I use it because I stop breathing while I sleep. Please tell me why I couldn't use a medical device, which is far more important than me charging my cell phone. So I also looked up some other things online. 
of course policies are going to vary per airline and it's not always going to be clear whether you can use your CPAP or not. Here's some advice for you CPAP users. At least two weeks before you travel, especially if you know you're probably going to need to use your CPAP on a flight, contact your airline at least two weeks before your flight to see if they'll allow you to use your CPAP machine. And if they do, Make sure you let them know that you will be using the CPAP on the flight. And for now, I guess that's the best we can do. I wish there was more broad knowledge and specific policies for CPAPs on planes. Cheers. Hey, thanks for watching and make sure you like and follow for more videos.